We've been watching what happened in technology. And Sylvia, I know you said in your notes that there's a real repricing of risk taking place here. And uh, that is no doubt. Uh, I guess the big question is, uh, does it continue? Is there more pain to come? What do you think? Good morning. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, we see the NASDAQ here in correction territory hitting below that 200 day moving average, S&P below the 100 day. And, you know, I think that a lot of this is that the market isn't quite settled with the idea of the two year inching up towards fair value, um, the amount of rate hikes we might have. And if we think about um, credit, you know, easing monetary conditions to tightening, I think the market is sort of overreacting and, and holding on to that tightening the other end. But I do think that we're somewhere in the middle. And I think that once earnings come out, we sort of hear from leaders and see it, this continued trend of 70 percent of companies beating earnings and think about, you know, the amount of cash remaining on the balance sheets, the secular growth opportunities that this correction could be shorter lived than we expect. Shorter lived than you. So this is a time that you'd buy into some of these stocks? I absolutely would. And, and, you know, I'm definitely picking my spots here. So I wouldn't just sort of go across and, and buy the wide breadth of names that have pulled back. But I do like the top fang names. And I replaced the N with 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 uh, Netflix. I, I changed that to NVIDIA. I like these companies that are going to be participating in things like cybersecurity, the cloud, the metaverse, Web 3.0 and 5G. And I think that, you know, when you're looking at names that are 10 to, to 30 percent off of their 52 week highs, these are great times to get into some of these names. And yes, you'll have to hold on to them a little bit longer to watch it play out. But if you have cash on the sidelines, I still think that equities are the place to be. And these are great opportunities to buy into these names, again, that are going to participate in secular technological growth trends for the future. Hey, Carrie, you make the great point that a lot of this change has already happened, going from the growth stocks to the value stocks. In fact, yesterday we had Procter & Gamble CEO on. Um, that's a company that definitely has pricing power. But you make the point when you look at companies like a Procter & Gamble, like a McDonald's, like an Eli Lilly, um, the valuations, just in terms of the multiple, it's the same as Google. So which do you like better? Uh, so, Becky, that, that is a, a very important point. The value names started to really run up last year. Uh, think about financials in 2021. They were up 33 percent. And the reaction that investors had to Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan's earnings, uh, both were very disappointing. And those stocks have come way off because they had run up in anticipation of the Fed raising rates a number of times this year. And those companies benefiting from the interest rate play that and benefit that they'll see. So if you can buy, you know, Meta, um, Facebook, Google, Autodesk, Visa at multiples that are below much slower growing value stocks, well, we think that's a more attractive place to be right now. It's not to say there aren't uh, areas within the value universe, but growth where you can support it with valuation is very different from hyper growth where there's no valuation support. And those are the companies that you guys mentioned before, whether it's Snowflake or a MongoDB or Trade Desk. Um, you talked about Peloton. These are names that have come down anywhere from 30 percent to 80 percent. You're there are almost 200 names that have valuations of over $3 billion that are off 30 percent or more from their 52-week high. Those are the stocks that are trying to find some support. And there's residual damage among the rest of the S&P and NASDAQ in the companies that actually earn, earn something. And so we think there are many places to look right now where we could, we could buy stocks and feel comfortable over the next year.